All right, hi everybody, it's Michelle with Unicorn Spit. I'm here today because I am having a really good time. Uh, me and my friend Pam are working on um, some plywood. So you guys can get this wood here really inexpensively. Um, Pam, what do you think a big sheet of this goes for? Like maybe $20? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's about that. And I like to go and pick out the biggest sheet. Of course, they always come the same size, but that has the prettiest grain in it. It's always just so beautiful. It's like the tree grew this beautiful design just for you to color in like a coloring book. And that's what we're doing today. We're making some displays and I'm gonna show you very easily how to get what I call the mariposa, which means butterfly in Spanish effect on here because I always feel that these kind of remind me of little wings. So I'm going to show you how to do that technique real fast and also show off the beautiful sparkling colors. So follow along with me and I'm going to show you how to use some sparkling stain. So if you guys, while I'm getting my camera set up here, if you would like to chime in and tell me where you're tuning in from, I'd really appreciate it. And also if you'd like to share this video, um, you could go ahead and do that as well. Hopefully you guys have a nice little view of my little board that I'm working with. Again, this is just some plywood. Um, not expensive. This is a very inexpensive wood. Um, you can get it at your local um, lumber store like Home Depot. And they will even cut them into um, one foot squares if you ask them to. Then all you do is take some heat like from a torch and you go over it very lightly and somehow or another, I don't know the exact science from it, but it will enhance that grain for you, which gives you this beautiful zebra striping. So we're gonna go in here and we're going to Lisa Frank style this piece of wood. The first color I'm going to start with is our pink. This one's called Starling Sasha. It's very, very thick. And of course I'm applying it with a um, makeup brush. These are just little makeup brushes that you can get on Amazon. They're not really great quality, I am gonna warn you. The tops do come off a lot, but you can just squeeze some more glue in there and pop it back on like I have on this one. So here we go. So here we are gonna go ahead and pick out our, our design. So I like to start by just going up to that black wood grain here. And we're gonna just kind of take it like that all the way across. And I'm just working on a, a dollar store um, tablecloth, a purple one because it's fun. It's my favorite color. Purple always makes me feel very um, full of imagination and just gets, gets my mind going. Oh, you know, what? I'm gonna take this pink up just a little bit to the base of this black one. Remember, um, this being a water-based product, you don't you can use your nice brushes with it. You can use your any brush that you want. Um, I do find that synthetic fibers work best. The chip brushes with that boar's hair, it seems to really suck the um, glitter and, and the sparkling up and doesn't put it down um, on your surface as well as a synthetic um, type of fiber. So try to stay away from natural fiber bristles whenever using the sparkling for the best results. This next color that I'm doing here is called Violet Vulture. This one here is our purple. It's very fun. It's very sparkly. Now I want you guys to remember, it's really kind of hard to pick up the true sparkling um, nature of this medium because, well, it's just, it's really, really hard to do. It's a terrible thing, but it's something that I'm able to show off with a little bit of a shimmy in a video, but as a still picture, it's hard to see. Now, Caroline, thank you for your um, question. Um, Hobby Lobby and Lowe's do not have it yet at this time. It's going to be um, released come June 1st. Um, if you go over to um, www.michellenicoles.com, um, we're also doing some pre-orders on that. But there's a couple of different retailers that are taking pre-orders. So they're gonna sell out pretty fast. Um, they're very fun, they're very exciting, but I do have a good feeling that it will be 
um, available at the Hobby Lobby, Lowe's, and some other big box store retailers um, here shortly. So it will be um, available to the masses. So no need to worry. You still have your specialist. Just go over to www.unicornspit.com and you can find a list of specialists available for you. I always suggest finding one in your area. That way, if you ever need some personal um, guidance, they generally all teach classes in their stores. So they're always there to help you. So this color that we just added is called Dolly Firebird. I named it after my mother, my mama Darlene, Nana Dolly. And this is our red. It's very strong. Really like it a lot. This next color is our blue. This one is called Sapphire Swift. And wait till you see this color. I think this is gradually growing to be my favorite. It is just such a beautiful color of blue. You can see it goes over that black and enhances it as well. And of course, all of our colors blend with one another. So as you can see, this blue went over the red just a little bit and we got this beautiful violet purple color going. So that's fun. So we're just gonna continue following that grain. Now there are wooden letters as well that have beautiful wood grain that you could pick up at a craft store. That's one thing that I really love is to do this um, following the wood grain effect um, on those wooden letters. They really just look absolutely beautiful. I might take this up just a little bit here. As you can see, a little bit goes a very long way and it doesn't dry out very fast, so it gives you plenty of time to work it. When it gets thin like this, it does um, tend to dry out, but not at a rate that's going to inconvenience your artistic um, work that you're doing, but it'll stay you can make yourself a nice little pot of it and it will stay um, nice and liquid for you without getting a hardened film over the top. The next color that we're gonna be using is called Lavish Lovebirds. It's a beautiful green. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that down here for you. Now remember, you can use this over um, existing finishes like a glaze. So this is Estelle Stain and Glaze in one. And so if you use it over black um, fabric, oh boy, it looks really beautiful. Um, over black um, chalk style paint or a flat paint, um, it looks really gorgeous as well. I really, really love it over an existing color. It's like just adding this holographic element to something. So if you have an old piece of furniture in your home or something that's just black or just white, feel free to go over it with some of this and do something archi something artistic. I almost said architectural. I've been thinking of architecture lately. All right, so there's our beautiful green. And then this last color is called Golden Gosling. It is our brightest golden yellow. It actually looks like liquid gold, doesn't it? So beautiful. But wait until you see it go on. This one it always seems to capture the, um, you can always capture this one with the, with the um, camera so well. It shows up so wonderfully on the, on the camera. So this one always gives me a, a nice little impact that I'm going for because I don't know why, but yellow works great on, on film. It really does. So that yellow, as you can see, all of these are only one coat. So you don't need to worry about doing multiple coats. You can up until your desired level of depth or color that you'd like on there. Come back in with a little bit more of my Starling Sasha. And we're just gonna pound that right into this grain here. And you can see that that yellow and that pink play together to give us this beautiful um, orange color. So you're always welcome to overlap your colors without any type of fear because they'll work with each other as long as they're 
they like each other. You know, if you put yellow and purple, sometimes you'll get a brown. So you have to at least keep a little bit conscious with that. But is that hot pink not gorgeous or what? Oh boy, I'm, I just looked at the video. You guys can't see the true colors like I can in person. So I'll have to do my best to um, bring the camera to you so you can get a very nice view. Maybe we can get the colors to be truer for you as they are to my naked eye. So here we go with a little bit more of our Violet Vulture. I really love the Violet Vulture over the darker tones. It really is pretty beautiful. Here we go. And then we're gonna come in again with my favorite, my Sapphire Swift. Oh, it's such a beautiful color. I just am a big fan of blue. And this is like the sparkling waters, like the most beautiful that I can think of. I just love it. It reminds me of this ocean or something. And I really like it over the purple. It gives you this really strange, radiant blue that's like a peacock. It's almost two-tone. All right, and then we're gonna come in with our last color, which is our green, our lavish lovebirds again, to finish off this little dial. This little tree ring right here, which was probably the heart of the tree. And there we go, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and, I got it a little bit thick right there. But now I'm gonna take my camera real fast and I'm gonna turn it around for you so that you guys can get a truer color. Here I am. Okay, it says to rotate my phone, okay. All right, guys, hopefully you can see this beautiful sparkle. Um, it, it looks pretty on my phone, that's for sure. Let's see here, I'm gonna try to pick it up and get this luminous ability for you guys. Can you see that? It shimmers, sparkles, and shines. So it is definitely sparkling spit all the way. Now remember, this isn't opaque. This isn't like, a, a, or this isn't going to cover your wood grain, you guys. This is gonna allow the wood grain to come out with all its glory and show off the fact that it's actually a tree and it's not just sandpaper mixed with resin or, or, or sawdust mixed with resin to make an artificial surface. This is real God-grown tree here. And this really shows it off. I love that color. Isn't it beautiful? Now the purple doesn't show on here that well, but there's purple at that very end. It's hard to capture it. It's gorgeous. Now what I've been doing is um, finishing it with um, glaze coat, which is gonna be my next step. Oh, let me turn my camera around again. I'm sorry, you guys are looking straight up. All right, so my next step I will do after this dries, I'm gonna be doing it on both sides of this, and I'm going to go over it then with glaze coat. And that glaze coat is going to give it a finish that is similar to one of those fancy bass boats. So you can see it really brings out the color for you just amazingly. Now this one didn't have the wood grain burnt, but it was just applied in there. So you don't have those real heavy dark colors like you see there, but you can definitely see where the glaze coat helps that sparkle come out just so amazingly. So this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is just a very inexpensive piece of run-of-the-mill plywood that you can get at any of your hardware stores that um, they'll even cut it for you. So this is pretty gorgeous. It, I just am so in love with it. This side, I believe they burnt so you can see the difference. And this side, you can't. So it's very cool. It's amazing. This is exactly the effect that I was going for with the unicorn spit sparkling and they have it. So you guys get ready. Um, June 1st, we will have these available for you guys. Um, they'll be shipping out. I have a cup. I have one with a label on it. Super dirty because I've been using it, but just in the bottle, it looks amazing. So this is our sparkling stain. So get ready um, to have another adventure in the artistic world doing a beautiful 
sparkling feel now as opposed to just flat. So we're gonna really get it going. Look at how luminous that is, you guys. Ah, it's super beautiful. Oh, so the clear coat that I used, let me show it to you guys here. This is the clear coat that I used to get that bass boat finish. It's called Glaze Coat, Fama Wood Glaze Coat. It's by the makers of E6000. And it is a high gloss craft resin. Now, this can also be used as tabletops. It can be used in um, little pieces of jewelry. Whatever size you need, this stuff comes in it. Everywhere from a pint to a quart to a gallon. So, and I believe they also offer five gallon as well if, if you need something that big. I just don't know where you'd get it from. <laughs> but I have seen the option on their order forms. So this stuff is my go-to epoxy. There are others on the market. This is the one that I tend to have the less errors with. The other ones I messed up all the time. I couldn't seem to ever not have operator error. This one made it very easy for me to not have operator error and I have the greatest success using Fama Wood Glaze Coat. So again, guys, um, thank you for tuning in and I look forward to doing more videos with you guys using the sparkling stain, using um, all of my unicorn spits and we also have some prototypes that are going to be coming out because i'm always evolving i'm always finding things that are going to excite your imagination sorry about that you guys so i'm always going to give you guys something new to play with something new to experiment with and something new to just have fun and of course they're always scented as well which you'll find that the sparkling stain smells like lemongrass it smells really good. It does. Super duper good. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until I see you again, be good, be blessed, and always let your creative juices flow. Goodbye.